Hi, and welcome back to Q Tutorials. I'm Mavish, and this is Level 4B, Part 1, in which we will be having a look at principal component analysis in the light of face recognition. This is actually a part of Level 4B, in which the major uh, objective will be to understand how PC works to recognize a face. Now, I have kept beginners in mind who are starting to learn this topic, uh, being a beginner myself. I will try to keep things as simple as possible. So let's begin with our learning objectives. Now, the learning objectives of this tutorial, this part one, will be majorly to understand the relation of PCA to recognizing a face, in which we will cover what is principal component analysis, why and where is it used, why is a principal com what is a principal component or an eigenface, and the benefit of dimensionality to reduction which is actually a key feature of PCA, and then how results of PCA are measured. Before we dive into what is PCA, how it works, let's have a look at why and where is it used. Now, PCA was invented in 1901 by Carl Pearson, and nowadays it is mostly used as a tool in exploratory data analysis and for making predictive models, for example, in face recognition. It is the simplest of the true eigenvector-based multivariate analyses, and often its operation can be thought of as revealing the internal structure of the data in a way which best explains the variance in the data. Now, the, by variance, we could mean the major features of the data set or the directions in a data set. Now, we will have a, a detailed look on this uh, particular property but I will also be taking both, of thing, both things parallel, that is one is PCA technique itself and uh, its relation to recognizing a face as well. I will take both of them uh, parallel. 